How to calculate the standard deviation of a stock's historical returns. These four years' returns of Alphabet, which is the holding company of Google, are given from 2017 to 2020. We will calculate the standard deviation from this sample of data. The first step to finding the standard deviation is find the mean return, the arithmetic mean return. So I'm going to add up all of the returns. I'm not going to show the percent sign, but these are all as percent, but that's the formula for the arithmetic mean. It's 19.25. Now I'll put the percent sign. So again, I just add them up, divide by the number of years. Now the formula for variance, which is what we have to calculate before we can calculate standard deviation, is the return in each period, so I'm taking this return, 31%, and then subtract the mean that I just calculated, 19.25, and square it. Add the same deviation squared. Add the deviation again squared. When you encounter a return that's negative, please be sure to retain that negative sign. And the 2020 is 26% minus 19.25 squared. Pay attention to what we're going to divide by. You always divide by the number of years minus 1. So we have 4 years minus 1. After you put this into your calculator, the numerator will be 692.75 divide by 3 gives us a variance of 230.9167. But this is variance, not standard deviation yet. So on this found that the variance was 230.9167. The standard deviation, which is represented by Greek letter sigma, is the square root of the variance represented with the Greek letter sigma squared. Take the square root of 230.9167 giving us 15.1959. This is indeed a percent, and if I needed to round it to the two digits, then we could re represent it this way, 15.20%.